Welcome to Electra Online and now we're going to talk about the transition zone. The transition zone is a very thin layer between the chromosphere and the corona. So let me put that up here. Here's the corona. And physically, corona, there we go. Physically, there's nothing special about the transition zone. It's about it's made out of the same material that the chromosphere is made out of. It's, so it's part of the atmosphere of the sun and it's no different in material from the corona. So what's so special about the transition zone? Well, what's, what sets the transition zone apart from everything else is that there's a huge temperature variation over a very small region around the sun. Remember that the photosphere is at about 5800 Kelvin and that the temperature in the chromosphere first takes a dip down to about 4,000 Kelvin and then by the time you reach the edge of the chromosphere the temperature is maybe around 10 to 25,000 Kelvin remember that we have all these spicules sticking out from the surface of the Sun which may have something to do with the heating process on the outer layer of the chromosphere but then what we also find is that there's this very thin region we call the transition zone because during that in that region the temperature goes from maybe a maximum of 25,000 Kelvin at the edge at the far edge of the chromosphere to over a million degrees Kelvin where the corona starts. The corona is a vast region around the sun that goes out for several million kilometers past the sun engulfing the sun in an enormous vast region of very very rarefied gas that reaches temperatures of 1 to 2 million Kelvin. So something happens over this very small region of maybe several hundred to several thousand kilometers where the temperature goes from 25,000 to a million. We're not quite sure why the temperature changes so radically. There's all kinds of theories out there that have to do with the magnetic field, spicules, maybe some uh, bombardment of, of wind particles that, that uh, hit the corona, heating up the, the molecules, but we really, or they're not really molecules, but they're just atoms and uh, we really don't know what causes the temperature to go up so, so quickly. We just know that it happens at that distance of probably several thousand kilometers away from the surface of the sun. Don't know what it is. At least the fact that we know that it happens over such a short period, such a short distance, it gives us some clues as to why it may happen. We may know in the future we are sending some spacecraft towards the sun to get within just 10 sun radii away from the sun to try and figure out why the corona is so hot and why we have that transition zone going from relatively low temperatures to extremely high temperatures. We don't know, we will find out maybe one day, but that's why when we're all scientists or budding scientists trying to find out what else can we do in the world, well there's a lot of things yet that we're not aware of that we don't know yet. So for anybody that's interested in getting into astronomy, that may be one big puzzle that you may try to solve. But there we go, that's what we call the transition zone. In the next video, we'll talk about what the corona is.